humans have been using plants and fungus to change the experience of consciousness for a very long time. 9,000 year old cave paintings depict rituals with psychedelic mushrooms. Psychedelics were often used in religious ceremonies as sacraments for divination and healing. It wasn't until the mid 20th century that science got with the program. Early psychedelics research transformed neuroscience. We began treating five patients for 26 days. In clinical trials, psychedelics like LSD showed extraordinary potential. It's an important drug in treatment of mental and emotional disorder. These substances rose from obscurity to miraculous promise in a matter of years. Dangerous and deadly. Disastrous consequences. All of a sudden, there are these scare stories in the media. Bizarre fatal accident. Permanent brain damage. Hyped by the government. There's propaganda. Suicide. Chromosomal abnormality. Psychedelics were soon perceived as a threat to public safety and global stability. It's a very dangerous, very drug. dangerous drug. President Nixon went to the Narcotics Bureau today to sign a drug bill. And by the early 70s, essentially the research has stopped. The golden age of psychedelic science was over. But this story began in 1943. A young Swiss chemist named Albert Hoffmann is working at a pharmaceutical company in Switzerland. Tasked with formulating a new stimulant, Hoffmann, quite inadvertently, opened Pandora's box. He accidentally ingests what they called LSD-25, got it on his finger, maybe in his eye, and started feeling strange. He realized there's something psychoactive in this one. Three days later, he ingests some intentionally. And realizes like, oh shit, I'm losing it. Hoffman was having the first acid trip in the world. So he and his lab assistant take a, one of the most famous bicycle rides in history to his house where he is separating from his body, he's seeing himself from the ceiling. Then he stepped out in his garden and everything looked jeweled with dew as if it were the first day of creation. And that is how LSD was discovered. Commemorated on April 19th as Bicycle Day. Sandoz, the company Hoffman worked for, provided LSD-25 for free to scientists around the world. They basically unleashed this open source research effort where they offered huge amounts of it to any researcher, basically with a nice piece of stationery. I could feel with my eyes. It was LSD that catalyzed our understanding of neurotransmitters and receptors, and also the development of other psychiatric drugs. Clinical researchers investigated LSD as a treatment for a wide range of mental illnesses. They looked at obsession, anxiety, depression. They looked especially at alcoholism and had a 50% success rate, which is quite remarkable. Psychedelics became a standard tool in psychotherapy. It would help people speed the process of bringing their subconscious to where you could discuss it with your therapist. There was a lot of this going on in the 50s. There was a dark side to the research as well. Both the military and the CIA saw great potential. The squad on drugs with LSD. The CIA got very interested. First they thought LSD might be a mind control agent or a truth serum. And then they thought, well, let's weaponize it. Let's put it in the water supply. Let's secretly give it to foreign leaders to make them do and say stupid things. So it was one crazy idea after another. Awful, awful stuff. But it's what was happening here at home that doomed this research. The drugs escaped the laboratory. And then Timothy Leary gives it a big push. Harvard psychologist Timothy Leary developed a dubious curriculum of mind expansion and personal truth through psychedelics. A scandal erupts. He's fired from Harvard and then decides to become the LSD evangelist. Turn on, tune in, and drop out. He's essentially saying everybody should use this drug. And the drug is taken up by the counterculture. Richard Nixon was convinced that he was dealing with the threat from psychedelics. He called Timothy Leary the most dangerous man in America. 
But the kids who take LSD aren't going to fight your wars. They're not going to join your corporations. And here, Timothy Leary and Richard Nixon were in agreement. So Nixon passed the Controlled Substances Act in 1970, and that listed psilocybin and LSD as no accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse, neither of which are true. And that's a remarkable event in the history of science. I don't know that you can point to another time or episode where you had a very promising line of inquiry that has simply stopped for reasons that have nothing to do with the science. And we lost 30 years of research. Imagine what we would know now had we been studying these compounds for those 30 years. What we might have learned about depression, anxiety and addiction, consciousness, and how the mind works.